let us have the people who preside over the, the house, in this case the speakers, not be involved in active uh, politicking over the weekend. And that is the line that I was taking. And uh, if for any good reason that I have offended uh, Honorable Wakoli and his party leader, I want to apologize, but to say uh, that I'm reflecting on that. Mr. Speaker, still talking about parliamentary, parliamentary democracy. Mr. Speaker, when you go to National Assembly, and I think even here, there are words on the door that says, for the welfare of society and a just government of the people. Those words are not there for nothing. They mean something. They talk about welfare of the society. The society is the country. The just government, just government of the people. That should be the words or the phrases that are supposed to guide us in this house. The moment we divert from that and start engaging as political parties or as an appendage of state, we lose it completely. So I think, for me, that would be an important thing. Mr. Speaker, this House has done public participation. But public participation in this country means nothing, Mr. Speaker. They did public participation over housing bill. They did public participation over the first, uh, the, the finance bill, 2023, and even the recent one, finance 2023-24. But the views of Kenyans were not factored in the final report that was presented to the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, these are the things that annoy the people and make us look bad. So even as we are reflecting, I hope that we will have a committee or we'll have some people sitting down and discussing how do we reset parliament to be what it was and not what we are having now. So, Mr. Speaker, I started by saying that the problem is here, and that is why I'm addressing parliament. Now, let me go to the presidents. Let me go to the presidents, which is the second problem. Mr. Speaker, the presidency must understand that they are in power. They are no longer campaigning. We know they gave us promises. Some of those promises have not been implemented. Kenyans are patient. They are waiting. But don't continue giving promise after promise. Every day you wake up, new promises come. And sometimes those uh, promises are not consistent. They are not consistent. And Kenyans now, when the Kenyans start having doubt in their leader, when their leader speaks and they say, we know he's not going to say the truth, then we have a problem. So my view is that the presidency needs to understand. And this is what Honorable Haluale said. There are many institutions that can talk on behalf of the president in government. He doesn't have to talk on everything. He doesn't have to appear all over. President Kibaki led this country from his home. I have met three ministers in President Kibaki's government who tell me that in the 10 years that Kibaki was a president, he only called them twice. He only engaged ministers when they go to the cabinet and when you are presenting a memo. But outside that, he would not call you easily. So we have a problem. And I hope the president is listening to me. That Mr. President, you need to change. And the earlier you change, the better. Talk less, appear less in public, and manage your promises. And that way, Kenya, we will not have this problem. Court orders must be obeyed. I mean, when you tell us that Mambo Matatu and you threaten people, you don't obey court orders, we have a problem as a country. 
when you engage the country in, at an international level in agreements that hurt the people of Kenya,